It's been nine years since I spent a year of my life sitting in front of the computer, pecking away on a manuscript where that, that I had no idea whether anyone would read. It was Turn the Ship Around, and it was a story about how giving people control on a nuclear-powered submarine resulted in healthier, happier, and an explosion in, in, in thinking and in performance. It struck a chord, and I've been so encouraged by the many, many, many stories that I've heard by from people like you who've implemented this in whatever way in your organization created better workplaces for their people. People are healthier, people are happier, and we've had improved business outcomes. I always thought that one of my roles as a leader was to remove myself as a personality. So the team didn't have to depend on me. The greatness and the, and the, and the drive for excellence was embedded in them. They didn't need me to motivate them, to tell them what to do or make them do stuff. And we're now at that point with the intent-based leadership movement, which to me, for me is a tremendous milestone. And I'm here with Peter Russian to announce the formation of intent-based leadership international which is gonna take the movement forward. Peter. Well, thanks, David. And, and thank you for that year working on the book because in 2014, somebody handed me Turn the Ship Around and said, you've got to read this. And it was a profound life-changing moment because it changed my perspective on what leadership was, who leaders were and who I was as a leader as well. It was so profound, in fact, just two or three years later, I decided to pack in the comfortable job I had as a chief executive in Scotland and join the Turn the Ship Around team, working alongside David to help organizations to implement the intent-based leadership practices. And here we are now, the formation of Intent-Based Leadership International, an organization that is set up to encourage, to support, to learn from organizations and leaders who want to implement this approach, who share our vision and share our belief that there can be a better way for organizations to operate and for people to lead. So this is a real true honor to work alongside a brilliant team. And I'm looking forward to being part of the team that writes the next chapter in the story of this amazing movement. Peter is exactly the right guy for this. I've seen him do amazing cultural transformations with extremely large, some of the largest companies on the planet. He's an intent listener, he's patient, he's curious, and he's creative. And he's, frankly, he's much better at that than I, than I am. So I'm gonna be out there. I hope to meet you guys on the road, to hear your stories, to inspire and be inspired. I'm gonna also be a content creator, doing the leadership nudges, which I know you all love. <laughs> and I'm working on a couple of books. Don't hold your breath there, but I'll let you know in time what, what those are gonna look like. And I, I invite you to check out the Intent-Based Leadership International page on LinkedIn. Send us your stories, give us your comments, let us know what you think, and the intentbasedleadership.com website. See you out there. <laughs>